We've been talking about Buffalo's renaissance for years now, and new job data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics this month is showing just how large the job creation gap has become here in western New York. As Two On Your Side's Jackie Roberts reports, a lot of new businesses are coming in and looking for the right people to work here, but those companies can't find them. The president and CEO at Invest Buffalo Niagara says as the perception of the region changes, so does his ability to attract businesses to the area. When talking to companies, it's no longer snow and chicken wings. I mean, they actually do know our major employers. They know our assets. They're attracted here for fresh water and power. But with new interest comes new challenges. The New York Department of Labor says the Buffalo Niagara region saw 2,000 new jobs in 2018 with a growth rate less than 1%. Kucharski says the problem isn't vacancies, it's finding qualified candidates to fill them. You have aging uh, baby boomers. You have legacy industries, manufacturing. Some of them are innovating with new tech technology. Some of them are, are having a, a hard time adapting. Now that we have this information, the question is what to do with it and how to keep people here in western New York. You're going to see this year emerging from this at a state level and a regional level a, a real proactive approach from a number of different entities to try and bring back a lot of ex-Buffalonians, increase the retention rate of, of the colleges and universities. Kucharski says moving forward they're focusing on a new strategy. It's convincing ex-Buffalonians by specific skill category that their opportunity here uh, might be better than where they are. Kucharski tells us Buffalo bounced back relatively quickly after several years of decline. He says with a goal to keep that momentum going, aligning the job market with the workforce is key. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.